Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make a player model for your Gorilla Tag fan game. So this involves modeling it, rigging it, texturing it, and it's all in Blender. If you need any help, make sure to join my Discord server link in the description, and make sure to like and subscribe. And anyways, let's get straight into the video. So first, you need to download Blender. Just go to blender.org. You can click the download here, or just go to download, and then just click download Blender. Now when you open Blender, you'll be on this screen. Just click off of it, and then you'll be here. So first, what you want to do, click on the light, and then delete it, and click on the camera, and delete it, so you have just the cube and before we start i recommend learning a bit about blender such as how to move around you rotate using your middle mouse button aka pushing down on the scroll wheel and then by holding shift and doing that you can move like this it's a bit different than unity now click on your cube and go down here to the modifiers click add modifier and click on subdivision surface make the levels viewport 2 then up here go to edit mode go to the face selection now click on the bottom face and then go to the move tool and just move it up a bit like this then click e to extrude it and move it down and obviously you can see that this is going to be the body and you can pretty much make this however you want so you can make it really long you could go to the scale tool and make it like small like this or you can make it a bit bigger then extrude it down a bit scale it down so then it's something like this it's really up to you and then if you want you can make this a bit smaller too for the sake of the tutorial i'll just go with this at the top actually you're going to want to scale it down a bit like we did then you're going to extrude it make it go a bit up like slightly like this and maybe i can do a bit more and then make it even smaller maybe like this and then one one more time like this i'm gonna redo this so this is gonna go there we can make it a bit higher but yeah this is where the head is gonna connect so that's pretty much the neck and now you can select all the faces by clicking a and then you can make it like this so it's not a square it's more of like a rectangular body i'm gonna put it like this i'm actually gonna go to the bottom and make this a bit flatter like this this is fine now go back to object mode on the subdivision click this click apply now right click on it click shade smooth and now we're gonna make the head so click add mesh cube i'm gonna make the head a bit smaller i'm actually gonna disable this for now now once again add modifier subdivision surface put the levels viewport to two again now i'm gonna make it very slightly skinnier kind of like that now click this click apply and now we're gonna go into edit mode now hold down control and click on the bottom row of faces here rotate it so it goes in like this and then bring it out like this i'm gonna rotate it a bit more and obviously this is gonna be the mouth now these four are the forehead so you can rotate it however you want you can make it go out you can make it flat like this if you want i'll just do like this now go to the edge selection tool up here and hold down control and click on those four and then click on these four and bring them in and you can do it how much you want but i'm gonna do it like that now under here you can go here click on those four and move them this way a bit just so this section is not as long and also this one and this one also i set to hold control hold shift actually it's a bit different than unity but yeah hold shift when you select them but then yeah move those a bit forward and then these two at the top also move those forward like that then also this one and this one i don't think we have to do as much that's good and this is just what i'm doing Once once again, you can do this however you want. Now click on the vertex select, go to this one in the middle at the top and just push it down very slightly so it's a bit flatter and then go to the next one and make it a bit flatter. Not too much, just very slightly. Now go back to object mode, right click, click shade smooth. Now enable the body again, get the cube, move it up. Obviously we're gonna have to resize this so make it bigger and place it on the neck kind of like right there. And assuming you didn't move it back or forth or anything, it should be lined up. You could put it slightly forward just slightly but not too much maybe i'll put it a bit lower now in modifiers on the head add modifier subdivision surface keep it like this and then apply it again now obviously you can go back into edit mode and edit anything you could change the face you could change the body move around the faces add stuff size it whatever you want but now we're going to make the arms so once again click add mesh cube make the cube a bit smaller i'm going to move it here make it the size of the arm so maybe like this and you want to move it kind of inside kind of like this now on the arm click add modifier click mirror and now the mirror object just click cube dot zero zero one which should be your head make the axis y and now you can see that the arms are mirrored so they'll be perfectly even and turn off the x-axis make it just the y-axis 
Now, once again, add modifier, subdivision surface, go to edit mode, go to face select. And now we don't have to worry about editing this one because it's mirrored to this. So I'm going to click on this face and I'm going to make it start there. I'm going to change the levels viewport here to two. And now it looks a bit better. You should probably change it to two, but I'm going to make that go there. I'm going to click E to extrude, put it out kind of here. And I'm going to make it go straight. I'm going to extrude it again. So it's going to go out just a little bit. And then from there, I'm going to extrude it and I'm going to make it go down a little bit. So here it's going up a bit, then it's straight here and then it goes back down a bit. I'm actually going to redo it because I don't think I did it that well. So like that, and like that, and like that. And now in the last one, extrude it, put it out just a little bit. Go to the scale tool and size it down because that's going to be the wrist where the wrist is. I'm going to go like this, maybe very slightly bigger like this. I'm going to move it down very slightly like that. And now click on this, move it up very slightly. Click on this one, move it up very slightly. It depends how you want your arms to look, if you want them to look big or small. And then move this one down very slightly. And this is to make it look you know not like a straight line like it's actually has different like parts to the arm i think this is good now go back to object mode make sure you're selecting the arms click this apply the subdivision surface click this apply the mirror right click shade smooth i could make the arms a bit thicker honestly actually i'm just gonna make the arms bigger and that's just for me i think i made my arms a bit too small now i'm going to go back to object mode apply apply shade smooth i think this is fine now we're gonna make the hands so add mesh cube i'll disable the other ones now scale it down a bit now in modifiers once again subdivision surface move it a bit to the side scale it down a bit so it's flatter add modifier and do a mirror once again make the axis the y-axis and not the x mirror object make it the cube which is the body now the axis actually depends on like what angle you're looking at so if i put it on y it disappears because it's mirroring there so i'll keep it on x for now but it doesn't matter as long as it's mirrored it's fine now go back back to edit mode go over to your hand click on this face and scale it down then e to extrude put it there i'm gonna click a and actually make the hand slightly thinner maybe like that but once again this is fully up to you now go here on the left side and click on loop cut and then select the one in the middle so now it subdivides it in the middle so now we can do fingers go back to face selection go back to the move tool i'm gonna click e to extrude this the first one shouldn't be too far so just like this maybe a bit further just like that and then go to this one e and try and make it the exact same like that and now once you've done that part you can select them both by holding shift i'm going to go to the scale tool make them a bit thicker like this and now go to the move tool and on this one move it a bit to that side and on this one move it a bit to that side just slightly not too much and now click on both of them e to extrude extrude them out i'm gonna do about that much i'm gonna put it down just a little bit i'll actually move it back Back so I can do multiple because then I'm going to do another one. I'm going to put this one down slightly more. I'll actually put this one out a bit more. And those are the fingers. I think my fingers should be a bit longer. Let me go back. And those are good. So now it's time for the thumb. Just click on this one. E to extrude. Drag it out. Move it here slightly so it's a bit like that. Go to the rotate tool. Angle it so it's facing this way a bit. And actually you should go there. Make a first one and then extrude it again so it goes out here. And then put it slightly higher and then once again rotate it so it's like this i will scale it down a bit and these hands are good and once again like everything else in this you can change what you want if you want the fingers to be longer go ahead and make them longer if you want the thumbs to be longer go ahead and make them longer it's fully up to you but now go back to object mode and go to the subdivision and apply it now don't do the mirror yet enable these now i'm going to change the mirror axis to the y so that i can do that and by the way to rotate it perfectly hold down control and then on the top left you can see the number of the degrees i made it like this and now i can move it out these hands are obviously too big so i'll scale them down a bit i guess i'll move that there i'll make it a bit smaller too put it like that and then also rotate it so it's vertical now this doesn't need to be exact or if you wanted this to be exact go here y rotation make it zero or 90 or whatever it is based on your angle and your x and y axis and stuff 90 degrees is perfect and move them so they're kind of like this that's fine and now click it right click shade smooth if you want you can go back to the arm and make like a wrist thing so it's sticking out a bit so the hands actually connecting to like a proper wrist but that's fine now go back to modifiers click the hands click this click apply if you want you could subdivision surface again and then apply it again just so it looks nicer but that's fully up to you now we have the actual modeling part done next we're going to need to rig and texture the model but first make sure to go 
to file and save the blender file so first we're going to texture it so first click on the body and over here click on material properties and now you will need actual textures so you could just find them on google or something now make sure you clicked on material here on base color click on it and click on image texture and now here click open find your image and click open and now go to the top right here and click on viewport shading and you can actually see how the texture is put on now obviously it doesn't look the best right now but we're gonna fix that all so first right here where it says linear click on it and change it to closest now go up to uv editing click on one of the faces click a to select them all now click on this click a to select them all go up to uv go to unwrap and click on cube projection and it'll make it look like this and now if we go back to layout we can see that the texturing is good now we need to do with everything else i'll go to the arms and instead of clicking new click this click material and then just go to uv editing click this a click this a uv unwrap cube projection then go to the hands do the same thing make it the material uv editing click a click a uv unwrap cube projection and as we can see this is all good now now for example on the hands here you can see that this is kind of zoomed in on the texture and honestly it's the same for the arms so i'll start with the arms i'll go here uv editing and here when you select all of these go to the scale and just scale it up a bit so it's like that and now if we go back here we can see that it's slightly better and i'll do the same thing for the hands so uv editing click a scale it up a bit and back in layout you can see it's a bit better and if it's still not good enough you can just make the uvs bigger and now for the head click on it make a new material and for base color click on it image texture and now make this one your face texture so it could be the face of a monkey it could be one that you drew and as you can see this is mine mine is actually rotated for some reason but we'll fix that and once again we'll turn this from linear to closest now go to uv editing click this a click this a uv unwrap cube projection now if we go here we can see it looks better but obviously i don't want it to be like this and maybe i want to move up the face or resize it a bit so we're going to go back to cube projection and now i'm going to select these all and i'm going to resize it a bit if i make it smaller it's better but i'm going to resize it like this and then i'm also going to move it so it's like this and i think this is good for the face itself but obviously we don't want this other part of the head to be the face so what we're going to do when we're in layout go to edit mode i'm going to go to the x view or whatever view is here for you just so this is flat and now we're going to cut it out pretty much now this isn't really centered so i'm going to move this so it's a bit better and this is perfect okay so now use a knife tool now with the knife tool you're going to cut this out kind of just want to go like this do your best to cut out your face i just had to redo it so i did it really sloppy when you're done click enter go to another tool and then click on all the faces that you just cut out and you could highlight it but it's probably best to go through all of them and once again hold down shift to select them all just like this and now you're going to click the plus which is going to create a new material and on this make it your fur material and what you want to do click Control i which flips it to that and click assign so now that has your fur material and that still has your face material and as you can see it's fine it works but it's probably best to make your own face material by like drawing on eyes or whatever with like the background being the same fur material just so it's like the same thing but if you want it to be a real monkey face then you can do that now we're done with texturing so now we need to do rigging so click off of everything make sure you're in object mode click add click on armature and now i'm gonna go to this view and put the armature all the way at the bottom there and make sure you click on this go to viewport display and turn on in front just so you can you know see it so yeah put that at the bottom make sure that the location x is zero so that it's centered and also make sure that the y is zero so make sure that this is at the bottom go to edit mode now click this, select the move tool and move it up so that it's about right there. Make sure it's under the head, kind of in between them, kind of like this and click E to extrude and move it straight there. And then click this, do another one and move it straight there. Then I'm gonna zoom out a bit, click E on this and put it to the middle of the elbow right there. And another one and put it to the wrist. And then same thing here, E, put it to the elbow and another one and put it to the wrist. Now click on one of the shoulders, click shift and click on the other and move them down so they're kind of centered like that. If you want to move 
them both out at the same time then just scale so that they're out of it but just go to each of these and make sure that it's in the perfect position so you know the elbows are where the elbows are and the wrists are where the wrists are so like right there and right there actually your wrist should be slightly on the hand like that so like that and now you do need a head bone so move it up like that just there and then you need to make sure that you move it forward so that it's like that just like that that's good and now we're going to rig the fingers so zoom in here on the hand first click on the wrist make a bone put it here just about right there now on this make one that goes up here just right where the finger starts and then do one that goes about to the middle and then do one that goes about here right before the end and then do the same here so make one that goes about right there then another one that goes about right there and another one that goes there and then for the thumb make one that goes there make one that goes there and make one that goes there and now zoom out and we're going to do the exact same thing with the other side make one that goes there make one go there make it go to the middle and make it go there then make it go there one in the middle and one there and for the thumb make it go there make it go there and make it go there and now we're done with that but you want to look and make sure that the bones are in the right position so they're actually where the fingers are and they should be for us actually these could be slightly moved i'm gonna go to this angle just to make sure that it's perfect but yeah this i'll just move it there because our fingers are slightly curved and then i'll do the same thing for this one so that can go there and this can go there and now go to your top view click on this elbow and hold shift click on this click e then hold down x so it goes straight and you're gonna put this about about here so it's almost two squares forward and just click make sure that these aren't too long and now do the two wrist bones so that one and that one e to extrude and then hold down x and make this one just about like one square shorter than the other one now go back to object mode and now make sure nothing's selected click the armature hold down shift click the last cube so that they're all selected and then when your mouse is over here click Control p and then do with automatic weights now everything should be under the armature now to test if your rigging works go to pose mode click on the rotate tool and you can click on this and as you can see you rotate it and it works you can go here rotate it and it works like this so you know you can wave and it should work you can go back to object mode and now as always make sure to go to file go to save and what you could do you could rename your bones so that when you're in unity it's easier to find them so you could go to edit mode click this click f2 and bone name you could call it forearm actually make sure to call it forearm left and then this one forearm right and you can go ahead and do that for each bone but i'm not going to do that right now but yeah make sure to go to file and save and to export it so you can put it into your gorilla tech fan game go to file export and click on fbx to export it as an fbx and from there you can go ahead and follow my how to add a player model to your gorilla tech fan game tutorial linked in the description but yeah that's it if you need any help with this make sure to join my discord server link in the description and also join that to be part of my awesome community and if you found this helpful a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated it helps me out way more than you think and also make sure to comment down below some video ideas that you want me to make and also please consider becoming a channel member because it's only two dollars a month and you get so many awesome perks including getting to see my videos earlier than the normal viewer and including getting a shout out at the end of every single video that i make just like all of the wonderful people on the screen right now thank you all so much and once again please like and subscribe thank you all so much for watching and yeah guys that's it for me today peace